Hey, what's up? It's Axicus. We're back with another episode of SMB4. We saw that we got our butts kicked in the conference finals on 50 Ego. Pretty tough loss, but uh, we're going to move on. But that tells me that 50 Ego is probably where we need to be at right now to keep improving. So uh, we're going to go through another round of player re-signing off-season shenanigans and then get into simming a season. So here we go. Let's see what we got. I, I am basically going to try to run this team back as much as I can. It was decent, did perform well on Sim. But uh, I think what happened, if you recall, was the other team on paper was just a lot better. Had more more stats, um, team stats, power, contact, speed, defense, rotation, and the pen. So um, I got to work on improving that. Right now, my rotation and pen are pretty weak. I could use some more power. So I'm going to try to not mess with the chemistry and traits too much, but improve uh, the number of stats I have. So that is going to put a bit of a dent into the future player development funds, but we'll see how we do here with this off season. I'm gonna to try to get as many people back at current salary as I can. And the chemistry looks pretty good. Seymour Sox, basically utility player. We'll have to see him later. Yeah, I don't, I want my rotation to improve. Let's really be in the C. I'm gonna re-sign them anyways and see what's on the market. Okay, a backup relief pitcher. I'll try, but that's probably a no. And the closer, I think, can continue to develop as a right good chemistry and traits on him. And we're gonna keep as well. So basically, just two people to replace, but with that, we want to improve those positions. So basically, anything better than C plus, and we've got twenty million dollars to do it, and then hope that next season as well. You know, we we definitely improve the pitching statistics. Well, okay, cool. Let's start the off season and see what we got in free agents. And in particular, I want to check out the pitchers. Okay, so just out of curiosity, what um, chemistry am I losing here? A crafty and a disciplined. So pretty much gonna want those. Crafty and disciplined. All right, let's check it out. So because I'll take anything, I'll just go down this list from best to worst, and we'll see what kind of chemistry we get. Oh yeah, okay, crafty or disciplined. Helmel Slayer starting pitcher, we'll watch him, but wrong kind of trait. Composed with the discipline, that's a good combo. Young, crafty, yeah, possibly. Reverse splits, older dude. But an A minus, maybe get him on a bargain. Crafty with crafty skills. You like that one? It's the same chemistry trait combo. And this guy could be a bargain young player too. A minus, two traits as crafty. Closer, we wouldn't really entertain right now. And these folks aren't an upgrade down here, anyways. So these are the ones I'm watching. And I can also check the disciplined pitchers because we want one of each. Early bender, S tier, disciplined pitcher, starter, It'll be my new ace. Okay, looks like a decent option too. Alana Lantana, I've heard that name, played against her in the playoffs. Um, watch that, a reliever, this is good. A crafty skill, older clothes, these names sometimes. Starter reliever, I think I kind of have those covered, but I'll watch anyways. Lenny Dixon. I'll watch you. There's a lot of options here. And starter, Fran Japani, maybe to round out the rotation, get her on a deal. Two traits. Could take another yellow trait. That's good too. Good to have that rally stopper maybe as the reliever. But a C plus. Okay, so that wouldn't be much of an improvement. Okay, so that's all we need. But, um, oh, Jeez, it's only one reliever and a right fielder, actually. But we do want to try to replace the bottom of these rotations. The C plus. Yeah, the C minus. Got to go. Could be another reliever there. So, yeah, maybe two relievers and a right fielder. 
you know, what are these guys' chemistries? Scholarly. Might not care if I lost that too much. Scholarly. Both scholarly. So, okay, I should check out some scholarly ones as well. Joseph Brosif. Yeah. Probably gonna want three scholarly pictures because I have enough of those scholarly traits that it's, it's worth it to be in level two. So, back to the pictures. Sort by chemistry. We gotta check scholarly too. Okay, so we're looking B minus up. That's good to bring a discipline trait. It's on a deal. And another one. A starter though. Right? Another starter. Oh, they're all starters. Any scholar scholarly relievers? Not that I'd want. Okay. Hybrid. Hmm. Okay, not great options. I might have to take that hybrid. Anyways, okay, let's um let's go next round until things heat up. And then I'll worry about the rest of the upgrades when we start signing some players. I enjoy these off seasons because there is a lot more to think about now. Looks like some of my watched players are already going, so it's probably time to jump in. I'm gonna go one more round. Oh darn it, another watched player gone. There were lots of options. Another watched player, darn it. Might have gone one round too far here. Okay, first thing I'm looking for is a bunch of relievers. Need pitchers, we need relievers, and right. Crafty with crafty trait, that's a good option. Or we got a disciplined, yeah, that's a C plus. Still in relievers, holding hold it close. Hybrid, crafty, a bunch of hybrids. Okay, my hybrid guy, scholarly, is 9.8 million for C minus, which is plus 7.2 million, he's gone. Okay, uh, we should get a scholarly reliever to replace him. So, of this class, are there any scholarly? 5.9 million for a B minus. And she gets ahead. Welcome to the team, Shirley in the air. In the air. Shirley in the air. For Dwight Breeze, you overpriced piece of poop. Get out of here. Okay back on the pitchers and I would <clears throat> take another reliever it's got to be better than C plus and preferably a disciplined player preferably disciplined we've got crafty and the disciplined is unfortunately a C plus so if we go with another crafty I'll have to pick up another disciplined player so let me just check who... Is he the only reliever I'm watching? Man, I waited too long to jump in on this. What about the starters? So I'm watching a scholarly... There is a disciplined starter as well. And a scholarly starter. So if I have to rejig the chemistry with some replacements, I can do that. They're all affordable. So let me see what the consequences are of signing a crafty reliever to my team. I lose a discipline for a crafty. So I'd have to trade a crafty. Okay, so then there we go. I need a disciplined outfielder. Oh shoot, which I don't even think I checked for. Okay, well let's get this pitching situation done. I think it's Bert Bergerer. 9.2, a little older, but I'm gonna pick him up in place for Remy Simmons. That should have boosted the bullpen a bit, which I'm looking for. There we go, we're looking like, okay, so yeah. Barry Ozone is a starter, scholarly starter, and we need to improve him, although he does only cost 3.9 million. So we're looking for either a scholarly or a disciplined starting pitcher. Okay, so we're at starters here. Okay. Chasey Kim, improvement on the letter grade, B, scholarly. Also brings a disciplined trait at 6.9, so just a little bit more budget. 
There's also the disciplined, which we need. Two traits. Yeah, this, uh, this is good. This will push us over the line, I think. Although we will drop the scholarly. So, disciplined. Or we've got a scholarly metalhead. You know, a little bit better. A little bit more expensive. But the direct placement. Let me just check the right fielders. Okay, right fielders. Okay, this guy was a total backup player. But try to improve him. Okay, there's a disciplined B. Some decent disciplined options. I'm gonna be losing a crafty, which is good. So I definitely want... Yeah, most of who I'd want is gonna be disciplined. Okay, we'll figure that out in a bit. One more look at my team. Yeah, I want to get rid of Barry Ozone, scholarly. Sean Levon. Be a direct replacement. Scholarly metalhead a bit better. Here's a scholarly 6.9 consistent. Difference between a B minus and a B. Friends, disciplined, two traits. Yeah, older. Maybe I'll go. Hmm. Yeah, one of these two. I think I just better go with scholarly root. I like Chasey Kim. Or Barry Ozone. Yep. It's an improvement. Yeah, I see my rotation and, and pen have improved. Defense is a little on the shaky side. Okay, but let's look at the... This is good. We're in a good spot with the rotation. One, two, three, four starters. These guys are going to have to be swing folks. We've got a relatively cheap closer, but who's improving? Seymour Socks is crafty, so we need a disciplined fourth outfielder, basically. Fifth outfielder. This is just like a utility bench player, but I want to improve him. Okay. It's with a disciplined dude. So we can go like defensive, right field, left field, right field, outfield. So that you like that secondary position. This guy's the most expensive. Saying red fourth. Yeah. Right field and catcher though. Yeah, no, I like the right field outfield. I'm gonna sign him. I'm gonna strap me. They're catchers. Got decent first baseman, second baseman. Got a backup utility guy here. C plus. Backup utility guy here. I mean, this guy's a super, uh, my super utility backup infielder for cheap. And he's disciplined. Yeah, like, uh, still developing. Landon Fair, a little older. Ah. Okay, let me just see what we got. Well, let me see who's a value. Second base, infield, outfield. Super utility guy, but also a C plus crafty. I'm right up against it now. Backup catcher. Is there a spirited catcher out there? Too expensive. 6.8. Oops. Too expensive, yeah. Okay. Let's just check the team one last time. We got all traits, so we got spirited traits, although we still don't have enough spirited. We've got spirited chemistry, and just still not enough spirited traits. But everything else is in good shape. Disciplined, I, I like. We got a good disciplined team here with a lot of disciplined traits. It's a good balance, and we definitely improved on paper. We got a, like, we're looking good on contact, power, speed, a little low on defense. Rotation and pen are looking good. So I think we're gonna have to be picky and choosy though about our uh, player development funds. Log freely starting to cost too much, but he's not loyal anyway, so he might be going. Let's go. Let's uh, skip this off season and let's get into simming the next season. So I'm just gonna check out my team here, new team photo, and any player development hangovers? Nope. Let's just check this. Line up here. Okay, Darcy is a DH. I like that. 
gives the catcher a break. Pretty good. Okay, so let's see. It all could mean absolutely nothing here, but we're going to go uh, start going every four games here. Game one. We come out on top. Hot corners. Absolutely obliterate us. Back to back versus the hot corners. And we get them back in 11 innings. So we're two and two. Not great, but we're, we're in it. And let's see what we want to do here. So this is okay, boosting speed and gain a trait. This is just improving the starting rotation. Speed and defense, I think we want that. That's cheap. And this guy's just a backup player. Risk of losing a trait. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. Okay, got most of what we want there. Let's go another four games. There's a win versus the Sand Cats. And it's a close one back and forth, but the Sand Cats win in the end. Crocodons. Oh, we have a lot of back and forth games. 6 4 for the Moose. Wild Pigs to tie them. Nope, they pull ahead. Okay. Tough, tough. Four and four. We can't seem to break through. We're slipping to the bottom of the division. There's still some watched players we have on the market. A B minus starting pitcher. It really wouldn't be an improvement, but would get me some more player development funds. Scholarly. What is this guy? He is also scholarly. Okay. Might have to consider it, but let's do four more games, because that could turn it around for us. Wait, we didn't do the player development, did we? All right, here we go. Oh, what do you got? That's a good gamble. More power, yep, to a young player. Oh, and he got the plus five bonus power, nice. Young, chance to lose a trait. This guy, second base. Losing fielding and gaining contact? I don't think so. It's not a great decision to have to make. I'm trying to improve my team defense here. Contact speed again. Minus two fielding. Chance to gain the thing? No. Um, this is an expensive one. It's improving the rotation. Chance to lose. There's a, there's a lot to gamble on, but I'm going to take the chance to lose for all of it. And none of it hit anyway. Hmm. 20% chance to gain a negative trait. I don't want to do that. Okay. Not the greatest decisions on player development at times. We get the wild pigs back to move to middle of the division now at 5-4. and four. Playing the bottom of the boss division here. And they lay a drubbing on us in extra innings again. We can't seem to close out games. A lot of back and forth. Gotta win this game against the Freebooters, and we do. Last one, I think. And we take it to the Buzzards. Seven and five. I mean, we're we're within striking distance. We got a positive run differential. We might just need to tinker a little bit. Meow Bubkins. So it's good. I've got no budget, basically. Right at the cap. Okay. Slugger aid. That's a good one. Young player. Okay, this is good. Plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus, plus. Again, Lester Bronco, same one. Arm and power. Bonus arm. Yeah, I like that for the catcher. No bonus. And this one's still kicking around. Okay, another four. A win to take us to eight and five. Gotta beat the sirloins. Ooh, again, an extra inning game. Oh, but we're 9-5, and five, top of the division all of a sudden. Going on a tear. Sandcats, get them back. This is a tough team. There we go. Double them up, 8-4. Okay, 11-5, and five, top of the division. We've turned it around here. Running low on player development funds, though. That's a good one. This is a good one. Can't buy one for an old Hanley. Um, jeez, I'm really down to it now. Uh, got 
got to really pick and choose. Hey, this is a good one. Nothing hit. Hey, can't afford anything else. So I think what I'm going to do then, I'm not going to save that much salary with a replacement. Now I'm at the top of the division. Don't want to. I just want to keep rolling. So what I'm going to do though is go um, eight games ahead. Win? No, we can't get beat by the sirloins. Another win to get back to 13 and 6, 13 and 7, tied for the division. Now we need another win to get to 14. Doesn't happen. Division leaders going head to head. And then the moose come out on top. Gotta beat the freebooters, bottom dwellers. We do. Okay, top of the division. But only 600,000 in player development fund we made. Eesh. Okay, arm and power. There we go. And that was it. Oh, I've never been this hard up to the cap, but it's also fun to win a division and play in the playoffs. But we might have to uh, rethink that for next season. Okay, so that was all the player development I can do. So let's just go to the end of the season. Win. 17 wins. That's top in the league right now. Quite the team we've put together. Another win. Keep pace with the Wild Pigs right behind us, who also have 18, but a game in hand. They got their 19th win, and I'm playing another division leader, and I can't get it done. Division rivals, Wild Pigs, and we squeak it out 1-0. It's down to the wire here, folks. Hot corners. Gotta win this. Final and 11, one nothing for our 20th win. We either, well, I think we're in good shape to win the division here. It's a win anyways for our 21st. Oh, 22 wins, 23 wins. Do I see 24? No, that's it. <laughs> okay, so we made the playoffs. And I got pretty much one more upgrade in me. Let's see what the team looks like. Uh, where are the team stats? There they are. Yeah, I really need to improve defense to round it out, but basically anything. Anything but contact. Uh, that's a pretty good gamble there. Or there's that one. Oh, that one. I think it's Dolph. Come on. Come on. Yes. More power, more speed. Can we get both? No. Okay, worth it. All right. There it is. Another episode of an off season and a season in the books. We've got a pretty successful franchise on the go here. Made the playoffs the first three seasons. We're going to see if we can get it back now on 50 Ego in the next episode. I'm Axicus, your friendly neighborhood casual gaming dad, and we'll see you in the next episode.